This van has 422 miles on it. And this is the noise it makes going 68 to 78 miles an hour. I don't know what it is, but it's really loud and really annoying. Currently on the way to Mercedes dealership to drop this van off and get it checked out for that really loud, obnoxious humming noise when we're going 68 to 78 miles per hour. Hopefully, they can fix whatever is wrong. Fingers crossed it's no big deal and we get this van back in a couple days because we have some projects to work on. Before we go away on our last international trip by ourselves. to the service department. I got a missed call from Kelvin and uh, just call him back. Okay, at this point, you're probably wondering what the heck is going on and why haven't we uploaded any new van build episodes. The story is a bit complex. The vibrating humming noise is coming from the rear axle and triggered at certain speeds between 68 and 78 miles per hour. There isn't an obvious solution as we don't know what's causing the noise and instead of trial and error swapping out random parts, the guys over at the dealer are doing a lot of testing to try and pinpoint the issue using a Pico scope for all you motorheads out there. We were hoping for the guys to crank this out while we were away in the Caribbean, but unfortunately only a few people in the shop are certified to run these tests and we had to wait for them to get back from vacation. So we were able to get the van back, get our AC installed, and then it was time to bring the van back to the dealer. van build day and we don't have a van to build on, I guess the next best thing to do is go surfing. Oh look who decided to join me. Here I am. Out. In the out oven. Out. In the wilderness. First day and one whole week. Yeah, we are actually recovering from the flu right now. Well, recover. It's a beautiful day. It is. So while we can't work on the van, we may as well enjoy ourselves. For sure. Especially now that it's the new year. Started off on the right foot. Yeah. Muddled up. Are you going to be reading? I brought my book. Nice. Yeah. First time. It's New Year's Day, so there's so many people out on the beach. And people are uh, polar plunging, which is going in the ocean without any wetsuit on whatsoever, so I might have to do that after. First official polar pump. I mean, we did several polar pumps in the past. Feeling alive? I do. I might do this more often. Free of the flu? This is nice, yeah. And we're back. Back. Ready to attack. <laughs> All right. That plunge felt great. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Come on now. We got the van back, but unfortunately it's only temporarily since we need to pick up a package and we need to do some measurements on the roof to make sure that our deck panels are going to fit next to our max air fan and our AC.
Unfortunately, the van's not fixed yet, but the guys at Mercedes were able to pinpoint the issue to the drive shaft. Basically, there's nine different angles that are potentially causing the noise vibration. So hopefully when we bring the van back, they'll be able to get those nine different angles tested out and sorted out which one they need to adjust. And then the whole balance vibration issue should be fixed. They were pretty confident that this isn't gonna be a lemon and there is a solution in place to get this done. It's just a matter of time with the right guys in the shop because unlucky for us, it was right around the holidays of the new year and they were on a shortened uh, work schedule with the holidays and everything, which is completely understandable. And this isn't the dealership that we bought the vehicle at, so you know I don't know how much of a sense of urgency there is to get this van fixed with the other priorities going on at the dealership. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm hoping that they're gonna let me at least install our subfloor so I can get some kind of content out to you guys because content creation is my full-time job. That's how I get paid with this YouTube channel and without the van I don't have any content to create so I'm kind of in a situation where I'm not making any money if the van's just sitting at the dealership waiting for the right guys to be in to work on it. So long story short that is the reason why there hasn't been any van build updates yet which is really frustrating but it's kind of out of my hands at the moment and as soon as this van is done and ready to go then I will have full confidence in going entirely into the build cutting things and modifying it. I just don't really feel too comfortable investing so much time into the build without knowing that the van is gonna be fixed. So I know this video wasn't too entertaining and short, but again, that's kind of where we're at right now. And hopefully we'll have better news next week. And for that, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.